Hey guys, Brooke Kelly Quail Keepers, and uh, I wanted to show you how lovely and large my uh, quail have turned out to grow. They're about, gosh, five weeks now, and uh, these are the eggs that I got from QuailCon, brought them home on the plane, and they hatched out super well. I got an 83% hatch rate using the um, little giant. The little giant comes through for me. I've had it for gosh going on two years now but um so we're gonna check out i've got pansy fees i've got fall fees and i've got the pearls so we'll go ahead and, and uh go in the aviary check them out and i will show you how super lovely these quail are from my shire farm so here you can see my colors and you can see the pansy the fog fee and the pearl. These guys are three weeks old in this clip and I just wanted to show y'all how beautiful they are just even after three weeks and you can still see the the patterns uh, on the tops of their head there. Um, that's kind of distinctive when they're growing out as chicks. I've also got a few of my Rosetta, Celadon, and a few, um, oh goodness, School Food Sil Silver birds in there. But for the most part, these are the Fulb Fee, the Pansy Fee, and the Pearl. Okay, taking you guys in. Check out the beautiful birdies. Look at how gorgeous. Just stunning. Now all of these birds are rare and they all carry the fee gene. And you can get these at my Shire Farm. So let's check out this last. Oh, they're so pretty. Hi, babies. Hi, babies. So those are the babies, and we're going to run through the colors here. And I'm going to show you how to sex them, because, again, these are feather sexable birds. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys about how many eggs a year they lay and their average weight and the average weight on the size of the eggs. And so I think that's a good start for us. All right, start bringing out these babies. I think my pretty white babies want to say hello. You want to say hi? Hi, sweet pea. I knew you wanted to say hello. Yeah. Here's a beautiful pearl. And what is this? Try to guess what this guy is. I know, you're being shy, huh, babies? So, as you can see, he doesn't have... He does not have any chest spots here. But he has this gorgeous, beautiful, rusty head. Um, but again, no chest spots at all on these pearls. So that's definitely how you're going to be able to tell. And just look at how beautiful the colors are on this baby. Gorgeous. So here's our beautiful pearl fee hen. And you can tell because her beautiful spots on her chest there. I know you're talking, baby girl. Look how pretty you are. I know. Are you on camera? No. But again, you're just looking for those dark chest spots. And on these pearls, they just might have a collar. Just a collar of uh, spots. So we'll go ahead and check out a hen with just the collar. So you can kind of distinguish because it might be hard to tell for a newbie. So you can see on her chest plumage, there's more just a collar of smaller spots. This is still a hen. So just make sure that she has some kind of 
definite dark um, speckling in her chest plumage there. And I'm sure that's going to be a telltale sign that your pearl is a hen. Okay, so here is our rooster. I know, this is our pansy fee rooster. And as you can see, he has no chest spots there. I know, sweetheart. Just gorgeous though, the black and white. I know, sweetheart, we'll go back. And as you can tell, he still has a little bit of the red around his head there. I know, sweetheart. And the speckling, oh, you gorgeous. Just gorgeous. Okay, here's our pansy fee hen. And right off the bat, you can see all the lovely uh, spots on her chest plumage there. And it's going to blend in quite a bit, really easy from uh, her head feathers and around her eyes into her back feathers. And so there. There's the beautiful pansy fee hen. Okay, well here's our fob fee rooster. Again, feather sex will no spots on the chest. And see his back. And a grayscale pharaoh there. Just holding the fee gene. Super lovely. Alright, boy, we'll put you back. Okay, hey, here's our beautiful fob fee hen with the chest speckles there. Just gorgeous. She's a pretty nice size for only being five weeks. Oh, what a good girl. See her pattern and markings. Just the same as the rooster. Okay, we'll put you back, baby. Again, I just wanted to thank my Shire Farm for these lovely birds.